Then it appeared. Hideous in form, it rushed out from the smelly fog and stood several steps away from her. It was tall as any of the birches surrounding my grandmother. The form had green eyes squished into a mustard-colored face. The creature didn't have a nose, not that my grandmother could see, anyway, but it did have a mouth of bright red pouty lips. Behind the squishy, plumpy cherry lips were rows upon rows of teeth. Big teeth. Teeth that were as white as new snow and as pointed as the tip of a knife. She saw them even though she sat several meters away. This is my first time to this side of the world, it said, pushing the words through the teeth. Grandma knew by the male voice that the it was a he. She was surprised by the softness of his voice, the voice of a preacher. It didn't fit with the terrible viciousness of his body and the odor that pushed itself against her senses. Why am I here? I'm tired of being cold and hungry. I'm tired of being poor and lonely. I'm tired of living in this desperate situation. I want to be rich. I want to have silks the color of the sky instead of mossy, dull green woolens. I want to be able to eat a marbled steak instead of mushy peas for supper. I want a servant to gather wood for my fire. I don't want to play the servant any longer. Money would give me everything and anything, said my grandmother emboldened by the thoughts of never having to stand churning butter for hours or chopping wood for days. If that's how you see it, then here are my terms. Every year at this time, I'll come collect my fee. That's when the stench stepped closer, much closer to my grandmother. That's when she saw him closer, much closer. There were bits and pieces of moldy meat hanging off him, fleshy things that shivered in the wind, rotten flakes that clung to his hands and neck and swatches of muscle blistering on his putrid face. His form was so rancid it vibrated with stink. A squeak escaped my grandmother's lips, and she turned her face toward the water. She wondered if he smelled her fear. The stench laughed, and my grandmother knew he did. You will feed me with your skin. Skin is a never-ending meal for me. Humans have many layers of skin, and it always grows back. From you, I need a strip. Enough to keep me satiated, but not enough to kill you. When your first child turns fourteen, he or she will make your payment until they have a child to take their place. The cycle will continue for their descendants, too, every year for two hundred years. Your children and their children will pay for your comforts now.'"